Oh look, one of my website visitors has purchased guitar tabs to my song, Better Song. This would be kind of tedious to reply to and, and attach the Better Song tabs file if I didn't have a piece of software that automated this for me. But I do. And all I have to do is run my filters on this message like so. Type Alt T U and there goes the software screen the message. Voila. It pasted in the visitor's email address and it has the better song tabs attached. And uh, it's got my email. It's all ready to go. All I have to do is click send to send this and I'm done. Now, maybe you don't have uh, visitor emails in the body of your messages uh, when you get a notification about uh, someone requesting a file from you. Maybe you get the notification coming directly from that person's email. And software, I may do that too. There it is. It pasted in the email uh, the message came from in this case and the song attached is awesome song. Alright, so this is obviously pretty nice uh, if you've ever tried to do this a different way or manually. How do we set it up? Well, it's really easy. I'm going to show you how now. Okay, if you have trouble doing this, uh, don't worry. You're going to get written instructions um, when you when you get the file uh, that contains the script. Otherwise, uh, you can contact me for assistance, and I'll post my my blog. URL below this video. But the first thing you want to do, let's say we have a song called New Song that we're selling guitar tabs for. Uh, first we're going to create a, a draft email um, subject's going to be your new song guitar tabs. Okay. And Say, it's for purchasing a song guitar tabs are attached to this message. Now, of course, if you have already created one uh, template email like I have. This is, it's faster to, to start with that, but I thought I'd start from scratch to show you how this would go. Um, I'm going to go into my music score PDFs, and there are the new song tabs. I'm going to attach those here. Okay. And I'm going to save this message. There's a draft. Take a second to save it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that draft email and this is the folder I want to save it in here. Okay, and it's going to be in the same folder as the the scripts. Here are my scripts, and you can see the email drafts in the same folder with them. Okay. Now I can I can delete these email drafts in my email here. And the next thing I'm going to do is set up a filter. Now, 
I've downloaded and installed the Filtakia Filtakia Filta Kia add-on and in the options I've made sure to check run file in the filter actions. Okay. So now I'm going to create a message filter. I'm going to say new filter here. I'm going to say when I get an email that says new song tabs purchase and the oh, it's going to be both the filter name and the text I'm going to search for in the body of the email. The filter name's not really important. But then perform actions. Oh, I've got a lot of weird stuff here. Uh, run file. Email file script. And we're going to delete the end of this. And we're going to type the name of the file that we just saved uh, your new song guitar tabs you don't put the dot eml extension here and then I'm going to change this to manually run otherwise Thunderbird's gonna go crazy when we get a bunch of new messages in okay and that's all there is to it. So let's say that this person with the is someone someone sending a a, a message to us um, purchasing the new song tabs, and this is most likely going to come from a, a form on your website or something. Um, but let's say that you get requests directly through email. And uh, this message has been sent. It came in. I just select the message. I see, okay, it's a new song tabs purchase. Again, run my filters, Alt T U. And there it is. Now, code driven at gmail.com is going to get the new song guitar tabs. That's all there is to it. Let's say we want to set up new song tabs for the uh, case where you get a email from a um, payment processor or something like that. From payment processor. Body. Oops. Copied my email. To the clipboard. In this case, if I were going to run is email file to first address. In order for this to work, the first URL in the email has to be the email address of the person making the purchase or request. Tabs. Again, the subject line of the email we saved goes here, your new song guitar tabs. Without the EML extension. Make sure the filter is set to manually run. Now because I already have a filter looking for new song tabs purchase in the body of the email, I'm going to distinguish this one from that one by adding a search for purchase. Um, that's going to show up in all the emails from this payment processor, let's say. Okay.
Now I'm going to go back and simulate an email. from a payment processor. Let's say purchase notice. Um, just type in a random email address here. Uh, let's hopefully or, or possibly you'll have some flexibility with these fields from your payment processor processor let's just say item new song Todd purchase okay send that. There's our new song tab purchase notification. We're going to run filters on it. And that's all there is to it. It's good to go. Again, if you have any questions about this, check out my blog post uh, linked at the bottom of this video. Um, if you install TeamViewer or Skype on your computer, we may even be able to do a, a live troubleshooting session. Alright, so thanks for watching and enjoy.